Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about getter in Dart. Getter is used to get the value of property. I'll share my screen and let's see a complete demo of getter. Okay, here you can see getter is used to get the value of property. It is mostly used to access a private property value. Okay, here is the syntax for getter. First, you need to write a return type. Then you need to write a get keyword. Then you need to write a property name. You can write any name here and inside curly bracket, you can write getter body. OK, in this return type, you can return a string or integer or any other your own type. OK, uh, here you can see instead of writing this curly bracket, you can also use this arrow function if you have only one statement. OK, now let's see a complete example of getter. OK, I will uh, create a new class. First of all, I'll create a new file that is, I'll say person dot that and let me create a class person and let me write two properties here. OK. One is first name and another one is last name. OK. And I'll also write question mark here. You will learn about this question mark in our null safety section. OK, now let me create one getter. OK, here you can see the syntax for getter. First, you need to write return type get and pro property name. OK, I'll say return type is string because getter to get full name. A string because full name is in a string. OK get a string get full name and i will also use single arrow function here and i can return dollar this this first name this dot first name and this dot last name okay now this is fine okay here is one getter to get the proper uh, this first name and last name uh, value with space okay now let me create another file that is main dot that okay let me create main method here okay okay now i'll create person object person p is equal to person and i will say p dot first name is rahul and i will say p dot last name is sarma okay i'll print p dot full name okay okay now if i run this program that main dot that here you can see person full name got printed. This is due to the this getter. OK, if I state the value of full name, I'll say P dot full name and equal to Mohesh Sarma, then this is not possible. OK, here you can see there is no setter name full name. You can also create setter for that. We'll learn about setter in our upcoming section. OK, if I Change the first name. I'll say first name is Mahesh. Then if I run this program, you can see the latest result. Okay. This getter is used to get the updated result. Okay. Now let's see another example of getter. For that, I will create a new file called book.dat and I will create a new class here. Okay. Class book and I will uh, write two private properties for the private properties you need to write underscore before the uh, property name okay i will say string and name i need to write underscore here okay and i will say double underscore price okay now let me create constructor and i will say book 
this dot underscore name comma this dot underscore price okay this is constructor to initialize the private properties value and let me create getters okay okay one getter is used to get the name and another one is uh, used to get the price of the book okay okay now let me create getter first of all string get i'll say name this will return this dot underscore name okay okay you need to also write exclamation at the end you will learn about this exclamation in our null safety section A string we need to write double double get price then i need to write this dot underscore price this is fine okay now let me go to main and i will remove all of the code and this one also i'll create object of book okay book b is equal to book okay i need to write the name i'll say harry potter and i'll set the price to 100 okay okay if i print b dot name this is possible because of getter if i print b dot price this is also possible because of getter if i run this program here you can see harry potter and 100 got printed this is printed because of getter okay if you don't write getter this is not possible because uh, name and price are private properties this is not possible directly you must write getter for this okay this is one example of getter you can also validate do validation from getters okay uh, i will use uh, curly bracket here okay instead of writing this price for the price okay okay this is getter body i'll say if this dot underscore price is less than or equal to zero okay then i will return zero okay if the price is less than or equal to zero i will return zero else i will return this dot underscore price okay now this is fine okay and if i run this program here you can see 100 got printed in price okay if i change the price to minus 20 this is not possible okay here you can see zero got printed we are passing minus 20 but zero got printed this is due to this getter okay you can write your own logic in the getter now i hope you understood the concept of getters now let's move to our website and here you can see various examples of getters you can practice uh, on your own and here is one thing why getter is important it is important to access the value of private property you can access the value of private property and you can also restrict the access of data members of a class okay if you don't want to uh, get the name of book okay if this is not required then this is not possible here you cannot access the value of book name okay you can also restrict the access of data members of a class okay and in the next section we will learn about setter in that thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question regarding getter then comment down below if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends i will see you in the next video thank you